guys look I don't even know why you clicked on this video but since you're here I'll tell you what happens this is my league race this is the precision racing league it's an extremely competitive GT3 league that I've had lots of fun in, in the last few weeks I was really looking forward to this race trying to get that top 20 which sounds like it's not that great but for me top 20 with this group would have been pretty awesome it's 47 cars in the field had a pretty terrible qualifying effort at 39. Just really couldn't get that second lap in at the few attempts that I had at it. Unfortunately, I don't make it to the green flag. I don't even see the lights. That's how bad uh, this race was for me. So enjoy the first, you know, minute or so of this bad boy and then click off. I don't blame you. It is what it is. Sometimes it goes that way. And unfortunately today, I was the bug that hit the windshield. If you like what I've been doing and you like the content I'm creating, please like, comment, subscribe. Help the algorithm engagement. Enjoy the wreck. Get ready, going green. Pace car is off. <sighs> There's an instant green flag, green flag. You've got wheel damage. <laughs> I mean, what? We got damage on the front end. Yeah. Okay. Pit box in five, three, two, one. Right here. All the damage is repairable. What the f happened? It says optional. It said I had wheel damage. Idiot. What are you doing? I don't really care if it's against the rules. That's absolutely insane. What a waste of time. I mean, that's unbelievable, truly. <laughs> Welcome to the show, guys. I feel like I have to get these repairs because it said I had wheel damage. Yeah, I don't even know what to say about that. That's insane. Insane. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's one lap. It's the dude that just quit. Pretty sure. What's his name? That dude. Douglas. Didn't even make it to the freaking start finish line. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's, you know, both of us are trying to catch up pretty much. <clears throat> well, now that I'm 50 seconds, so the leaders are 45 seconds behind me right now, so that'll be nice. I won't at least be coming out directly in front of all of them. We had 15 people watching. And then I ended up here, and half of them said I'm out. <laughs> Such a... That's so tough, man. That sucks.
I can't believe that dude did that. I can't wait to see Discord after this. There's generally basically no communication in this Discord. But uh, there's there's going to be after this one, I'm guessing. <clears throat> All right, so leaders going through. So got 30 repairs seconds. Almost finished up. What do you say? Oh, repairs are almost finished up. Um I thought he said we're finished. I was like, wait, whoa, 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 no, we're not. I'm going out. There. I came here to race. I'm gonna race. I might be driving 40 minutes by myself. That's two laps. Which you know, let's be real. We're not racing for top 10. <laughs> so all good. All right, let's do this. <clears throat> move it, move it. All right, let's get my pit stop set up again. Fuel. Windshield. Student. Love that name. First race in Spec Ford. Rear ended before the start line and got a three minute tail. Ain't that something? It's unfortunate, man. Unfortunate, dude. We'll make the best of it. it. Is what it is. I didn't practice all freaking week to not run this race. So, let's go. probably have at least a 4x right can y'all see that I can't <clears throat> I think I have to do a drive through after like 13 or 11 or something Forex, thank you yeah students sorry to hear that dude that's it's unfortunate it happens I, I mean I'm surprised it happened in this league Let's just say that. But, you know, hey, man. It's kind of my fault for sucking so hard that I can't get a better starting position. Let's just see where we end up. You know, you never know. Yeah. That's good. Seven. Just set the fastest lap. Three. I would say that I don't know where you are in your eye racing seven. journey, but you know, there's 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 always gonna be tough tough moments, you know? It's racing. Racing on the internet, people all over the world. Just, you look in this lobby and there's people from all over the place. You know? Just kinda is what it is and watch a race on a weekend by professionals and sometimes it doesn't look that much better. Reckon just quit. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. We're gonna do it. Nine, get what we can six, get out of it. One, eight. So it looks like I'm 41st, if that's accurate. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'll chat a little bit more than I might normally. It's unfortunate. Because I tell you, like, with this league, I mean, it's so tight racing, you know? The, the racing's so t tight that, uh, I'm sure from a viewer point of view, it's actually pretty entertaining to watch hectic as shit from my perspective, so I'm sure that's great for you guys. <laughs> I felt like that Watkins Glen race was insane until I spun myself out. Way too far. She's heavy again. Got 
catch it on the straight. Yeah, actually, it's funny you say that, because I was literally just thinking about that as I was responding to you. But yeah, I've thought about putting the chat back on the screen for video recordings. I definitely have, and I kind of meant to do it tonight. Um, the other consideration is that I, since now I'm doing Twitch and YouTube, it could get a little weird. I don't really want to alienate one over the other, but also, let's be real, like... YouTube is pretty much my only thing, so I don't get a whole lot of uh, Twitch following, so yeah, I, I need to think about that again for sure, because I noticed it when I was editing the video the other night, it's like, I'm just saying yeah, <laughs> and then kind of talking about a topic, but if you're watching it, you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah, no, I've got it. I just have it actually just, it's hidden right now. It's there. Just can't see it. But I've only got it, like, he does it. He streams on both sometimes, but he only has Twitch chat on his screen. Uh, or, like, on his, I don't know how to say it, but, like, on his actual screen. He can see both, but the viewers can only see Twitch chat. I have mine set up the same way, but mine's YouTube chat. Oh, he's got both interweaved. Yeah. I mean, what I'm looking at right now does too, so I guess I could just put that one on the screen. Oh, that's right, he did finally figure that out. So when he first did it, it wasn't working that way, but yeah. I think I do remember that being changed. But yeah, the same thing that's up there, I could probably just use that as a browser source too and do it that way. 5.555. You just set your fastest lap of the session. Look at me. Yeah. Kind of where I'm living. I, I'm just always debating what I want to do with stuff. I have a hard enough time staying on track as it is. Don't think I can handle trying to follow a chat too. Lols. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, it's. I've been doing this for a long time, and uh, it is not easy. The people, the guys that you watch that are like extremely good, who do it, like the Casey Kerwin's of the world. That's insanity. Like, I'm just decent. I'm not that good. You know? So, yeah. To think of the guys that do it at, like, a really high level and participate with chat, that blows my mind. I notice my lap times are worse when I'm chatting and streaming and doing all that versus just by myself. Like, how can Nine, Your brain is trying to focus on two different things at the same time. So, when I first started doing this, I would say I would say words that weren't even words. Like my brain was not capable of doing this and actually talking. <laughs> like it sounded like I was having a stroke. And so yeah, over time you get used to it a little bit, but it's definitely not easy. Can't wait to clip that replay. That's got to be a short, right? Yeah, dude, he's he is absolutely locked in, and he does it on road and uh, oval.
group chat on Discord during SRF races. That's just chatting. Yeah, for sure. It's yeah, it's definitely a short. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty crazy. He's just alien. I'm just trying to get better at these cars. Should probably see if I'm even catching these dudes up in front of me. Seventeen eight. I'm gonna guess no, but hope for the best. Oh yeah, he won that thing like two years ago, right? Like won the championship. A second. Yeah. Yeah, that, that whole thing, like that whole esports world has changed dramatically in the last like five or six years. I guess COVID five, really did it. Zero, five, six, new but there were the guys that were just like super fast before COVID. And I forget that one's uh, Alfalo. Like that dude won all the things and then. COVID hit, everybody got on iRacing, <laughs> and, you know, yeah, he got kind of phased out. Same thing kind of happened in the road side of things, like the, the Gregor Hutus, I don't know how, I'm certainly not pronouncing his last name correctly, but that dude was like alien, you know, the Max Benicki of the world like those dudes super super quick COVID hit a whole bunch of people got on iRacing and then like the real aliens showed up just everything changed oh too far I don't know anything about him other than the fact that he's stupid fast Is there like a story back behind him or something? I see him in streams all the time. Like he doesn't do it that I'm aware of, but if I'm watching Pablo or any of the fast GT3 dudes, like obviously on the right. spends Go all these in there and just murdering kids. Got him! I'd love to be that fast. I would just go dunk on everybody if I was that fast. I'd race all the time. Yeah, that's, he just races all the time. I've heard he's dirty. Crazy fast, yeah. Yeah, I've heard he's dirty. I've heard, like, wasn't it him and some other dude that they're like teammates? They were blocking everybody else to let this other dude win that's also their teammate so they could boost his IR or something. Did you hear about that? I don't know when that was, I just heard the story. So stuff like that, I mean that's... I don't know man, I guess if you... If it's popular enough and... Those IRs mean something to somebody... Like the, you know, think about like the dynamic in the last couple of years. If you want to get into the top split of say Daytona 24 or any of the big events, your IR has to be at like at least 8 or 9k, which is absolutely insane. Just to get in the race. So, like, these guys protect those IRs, and, like, understandably so. But the stuff that they do to get accounts up is kind of bullshit. Like, I don't know if you've been following... There's a YouTube series by the Mercedes Esports guys, like Jarno, who came from the F1 games. Um, I forget the other dude's name. But they both... Shit, I keep going too deep in this damn corner. <coughs> but, uh, anyway, they keep posting videos of themselves trying to like basically farm IR 
but they they're doing at least what they post on YouTube of course you know it's all like what's supposed to be they're just running races and trying to win <laughs> you know but uh, I've heard I've heard of some tactics by some other folks and it's like none of that stuff applies to me but it still sounds super shady and quite unfortunate if it's true I just want to be fast. I want to learn. I want to get better. That's where I'm at. I'm not going to be an esports driver or anything ever. I don't have any interest in doing anything like that. I barely even watch it. What's up, Wade Patterson? Just made it out of rookies. Is it advisable to jump into GT4s already? If your plan is to go to GT3 IMSA or focus on another series first? Six point just five got out of one rookies. Five. Let, me, let me sit on that for a second. I don't want to just give you a snap reaction. I don't, my snap reaction. Let me hold. Let me hold on. Let me hold it for a second. Let me Twenty minutes to go. One, I think it's important that you know where you want to go. Honestly, just go there. Just go there. I would just if I. If, I'm torn. I'm torn. My initial reaction was like, if you want to race GT3s, buy the Ferrari and do Ferrari fixed. And just do it. The only way to get better at it is to do it. Um, in my opinion, I don't know that the GT4s actually are going to prep you all that much for GT3 cars. They're just a totally you different a beast. Car on the right. You got a slow car on the left. I would just do it. You know, it's a video game. Just do it. Have fun. And if you get to those and you feel like extraordinarily overwhelmed, maybe then go back and pick something else. But, yeah, I would just do it, man. Yeah. I guess it's all about what you want to do. And I think if you came at it saying, like, hey, just got out of rookies. My goal is GT3 IMSA. You know, you have that opportunity right now. You can do the fixed, Ferrari fixed as a D class or license or whatever. I would just do that. And if you buy it, like, look, if you buy the Ferrari and you try and you don't like it, like, you know, you can always just jump to something else. The nice thing about the Ferrari is you're going to get a lot of play out of it because you can Ferrari fixed, GT Sprint, GT fixed, IMSA. I mean, you can kind of do your whole thing. Yeah, exactly. Ain't nobody getting paid around here. I'm doing this for fun. Six yeah, dude, it's fun. Zero, six, five, and the only way to know that is to try some things out and see what you, you know what you gravitate toward. But yeah, Ferrari Fixed has a reputation, and I would say it is well earned. Um, You've got about five so don't expect too much. There's an incident ahead. You got to take on it. the left. Have fun with it. But yeah, I, I just don't I don't really subscribe to the idea that like this, you know, I'm just very abstract here. But like this car or this class. Car on your left. What are you doing? Still there, hold your line. I just don't subscribe that those are gonna like prepare you any better. Let me focus. Stay on the right. Keep to the right. Thanks for that. Clear. Yeah, flash me all you want, man. You're gonna race me like an asshole, you're gonna get it right back, brother. I don't care what position you're in. It's simple. But yeah, I don't really subscribe to the whole theory of like, you know, oh if I do Skippy I'm gonna be better at GT or at F4. It's like just do F4. You know, it's not, it's not that, uh, it's not that wild. It's not that wildly different.
Only gatekeepers. Porsche also has Peacup. That's true, but it's a different car. So it's not the s I'm pretty sure it's a different car. So you have to buy it seven separately. Point one Five three minutes to the work schedule. Point two, hold on. Right side. Still there, hold your line. Stay on the left. Stay on the left. Clear. Current front is pitting. Super schedule for me to league. Isn't so serious about attendance. I would I don't know that any of them are, to be honest. I don't know that I've ever run across a league that's like if you don't make all the races you're out. You know what I mean? And I, w I would also probably caution against leagues this early in your journey. If you're coming out of rookies you can find one that's like uh, pretty casual and more beginner, you know, learning focused. What's up, brother? But I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to get too deep into leagues at this point. Kind of my personal opinion on that. But again, man, this ain't no job. Do you? Card, I want to come up there and talk about your game as soon as I'm done with this race. 15 minutes. I feel like, uh, you know, leagues, there's some special feelings to be accounted for sometimes in leagues that maybe are a little too, that's the word I'm looking for, it might be challenging for somebody who's like completely new to this, you know? People in leagues, like, they get really uh, butthurt when there's any contact made or... Yeah, you know, it's kind of a whole thing. Like, people generally look for leagues because they're scared to do officials, you know? Like, whether it's because they've had bad experiences or whatever. They just, they don't want to do officials. They just do leagues. And so you can imagine, like, the mentality of that, of the person that's kind of in that state, right? do it for the, you know, you want to battle the same person every week, or you want to, you know, there's a lot of good reasons for it, but some of that too. Yeah. Finding leagues, I mean, the, easy, the way I've always done it is there's a uh, forum, there's a, uh, on the official forums, there's a place where people basically post leagues, and then Reddit's actually now. pretty decent for it too. You'll see them every so often on Reddit. But I would look on the official forums. I have a ton of fun and learn fast. Hard to read the long ones. <laughs> I don't have a lot of time. Oh, rip. I'm just going to pit now and get it over with. Raise Weekend Warrior Leagues. Top guys can be cranky about slower guys. Yeah, that's that's the, what I was trying to allude to with like. There's definitely something you might call league mentality, and there's almost like an kind of sense of sense of entitlement a little bit sometimes about people who are like very established in their league. I mean, you kind of know where I'm going with that. And if you're new to i racing, I would say you might not want to thrust yourself into that situation immediately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not the easiest thing on the planet. Nice to see ya. Lock two, on HD. One. Right here. Man, we're far, so far back, don't even have an actual pit stall. That's some. That's some shit right there. All right. That's it. Go. Drop to like 900 IR. Having yeah, it's all about the fun, man. We'd all be better off if we could forget the IR even is even a thing. It should be like a background MMR rating that you just don't see and just get match made. 
but I'm a competitive person. I like numbers. I see number, want to make number go up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I like it, but reality is we'd probably be better off if we just couldn't see it. cruising. So we got about, it'll be four laps at the line, I believe. opinion is if it wasn't for ten minutes to go. It's going well, keep at it. High rating I high racing would not be as popular as it is. Yeah, that's probably true actually. There's something to it. Yeah, I think if it was in the background and it just had the online, you know, matchmaking component. It would still be quite popular, but there's definitely something to, you know, this attracts competitive people, right? We're all a bunch of nerds who are competitive and want to race, and maybe I'm speaking for myself on the nerd thing, but at the end of the day, if you're into this, you're probably pretty competitive, and you probably like numbers, and you like to see numbers go up. Generally speaking, that's probably a pretty safe assumption for about 80% of the audience. So, yeah, I, I, I tend to agree with you. Like I said, I like it. I think the people would be better off whether they know it or not. Myself included. But I still want to see the number. No, I'm not saying I tie my self-worth to it or anything. But, uh, I do want to see the number go up. And it has not gone up for quite some time. Matter of fact, she's been going the other way. <laughs> I think right when I stopped doing F3 and focused on this, I was like 32 or 3300. Maybe I hit 34, something like that. And I mean, I'm at 24 right now. So I've lost a thousand over the last two months, maybe. Gives you reason to keep coming back. That's true. Definitely true. If that's what you're into, yeah. Some people really, really care about that number, you know? More power to them. A little soon to the GT3. Did the GT3 last Ferrari? Nine six. After a few hours, not great, but good for you. Yeah, absolutely, man. It's all relative, right? I mean, last night I was in here doing practice laps, just tr literally just trying to get a two oh four nine. I'd have been happy as a clam with a two oh four nine. I couldn't do it in race fuel. I had to go into qualifying mode to get it. You know, but I was happy or whatever. I'd have been happy with a two oh four nine, but some of these dudes that are like five and six k would be frustrated unless they're sitting like a 203. So it's all relative. I'll have first second. Spun under pressure, dude. That's extremely Five, common. Four, extremely one. common. I had a lot of that a couple years ago too. It's uh it's funny how the nerves set in when you're in the lead and you're not used to it. No doubt. I have had a lot of that myself. The only way to get better at it, like anything else in the world, is just continue you to have do about it. Five laps of fuel left. Just keep getting out there, doing your thing, put yourself in those situations, and eventually you'll get comfortable. Just how she goes.
unfortunately this is the dude directly in front of me, like, position-wise, but we're not on the same lap. <laughs> well, unfortunate. Alright, a couple laps to go. Oh, my lap counter was off that time by. So it'll be four laps to go this time around. Man, if I edit this video, I'm going to stop it, like, literally before the race even starts. So, maybe I shouldn't edit it. <laughs> and I'll sh the title's going to be, this race is boring as shit. What happens? What are the, what's it going to be? The race when you don't make it to the start-finish line. One race, 300 IR. Holy hell, what? How is that possible? That must have been a very strange distribution of I ratings to lose that much in one race. Fabio! What's up, dude? <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> you know, I did not make it to the start, start line of this race. That's that's where we're living right now, Tyler. I might just call you Fabio. Are you cool with that? <laughs> okay, good. Glad to hear that. Glad Twitch is playing nicely. <laughs> Give him a C license end of season. That's awesome. You can fast track those too, by the way. If uh, if you're close in safety rating, you have to get like a 4.0 in safety rating. Uh, I mean, I've been on iRacing since 2015. Now, there was a very long break in there, so I started my account in 2015. I don't think I came back to it though until about 2019. And then I went hardcore through, uh, COVID. Uh, yeah, Noah. I know your name. What's up, bro? Come at me. Tell me your wife's name. I'll remember her, too. Let me guess. Uh, Jennifer. I mean, can you imagine if I actually got that right? Oh, gotta break harder. Gotta break harder. Cop, damn. That's a. Uh, I would never would have gotten that one. Michaela. All right, Noah and Michaela. I'll remember. I'll, you know what? I probably will remember that one. Service career. Yeah, so, on the sim career topic though, like, so sim racing, like, uh, I racing, really pretty, pretty hardcore since 2019, but, you know, I mean, like, everybody, right, like, uh, Gran Turismo, and Forza, and old NASCAR racing game from Papyrus back in the mid-90s, like, I've been on racing games in some form or fashion since I was probably, like, six. So, this is a little different, for sure. I mean, hell, I played pole position on the freaking, uh, old school Atari. So, yeah. Racing games, my entire life. Um, hardcore sim stuff, I'd say probably more like 2019, excluding that first year or so of iRacing. So, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. iRacing was real different, guys, in, uh, 2015 than it is any time in the last, you know, post-COVID years. 
303 races. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Because normally, like, you're not, you're definitely not capped at 100, but like, generally, a bad a bad day is losing 100. Demolition Derby. What about Twisted Metal? You want a possum one right so bad. You want a possum one right so bad. Podium rig Jesus. Alright, hold on a second. You want a possum one... Oh, that's rough. You want a possum one right so bad. Podium You've rig Jesus. I don't really... I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Podium one is that? I gotta tell you though, I've seen a lot of these companies popping up selling people rig like pre-built rigs. They are as overpriced as you can imagine. If you want an example? Did you hit YouTube? Uh, I think it was Podium. They sold Joe Rogan one for like seventy thousand dollars or something. Dude, <laughs> they probably made. I know, I know they're accounting for like flights and all the stuff to go set it up for him. But you don't need to spend anything close to that to get an insanely nice rig. Like, insanely nice rig. Hell no. That's nuts. How do you know where and how to improve on a track? I feel I push so much. Oh man, I've got... Remind me when this is over. I want to talk to you about that. I, I can show you exactly what I do to prep. Whew. You should watch the video with Jimmy Broadbent. I did watch that video. <laughs> I did watch him. So he basically watched it and commentated over it? Yeah, I did. I agree with him quite a bit. I hate to shit on people, but like they're literally just taking advantage of people that don't know what they're doing. Well, it's crazy they did two others as well. Yep, they did. What kind do you have and how much is it? Alright, I'll tell you. Let me kill this recording. If you guys watch this far in the recording, I don't even know what to say to you other than thank you. And... Thank you.